Hello YouTube, uh, this is my reef tank, my 90 gallon reef tank. I've had it for, oh I'd say, I've had it for, I'd say about eight years, uh, maybe even longer. And I'll let it go, just busy with work and ended up having a, a child and a kid and he ended up uh, really liking it. So I, I decided to get back in the hobby and did a whole revamp, but just to show you my corals and tank, this is my breeding pair, um, of which when I first got the breeding pair, they didn't, they actually have eggs, and I think the male, oh, there he is, the male is, um, has been tending to the eggs, which is underneath the anemone, um, but they didn't take to it at first, so it took about two weeks before they finally went in them. That's uh, actually my sea urchin with some green star polyps on top. And, uh, you know, got some zoas and some LFS. And, um, you know, my, my SPS has been doing pretty well. I have them on the top of the tank because I'm running two Kessel 360 WEs. Um, so they've been doing their job so far. I mean, this, this sucker's been in there for a long time right here. I forgot the name of them, but it's a beautiful SPS. And uh, I love it. And of course I got some watermelons and some other LPS corals that I like. And um, this tank is, these are, uh, tank is definitely uh, something I'm proud of. And um, continue to uh, enjoy the hobby. Another sea urchin there, but I'm running a one MP20 that I've had forever. That sucker's been running for probably a good five years, no hiccups, except for the inside assembly just needs to be cleaned every once. So MP40 runs a little hot. The only difference I, you know, I didn't want to buy another MP40 um, because of. Um, um, Pricing, so I said, "Hey, if the MP20 is working, I'm gonna keep working with that." Um, so, pretty stoked about that. All right, and uh, I'll take you down to my sump. This is my sump. I have a, a carbon GFO reactor. Um, I just started using that within the last month and a half, and I do like the results. I also have a nitrate reactor down here tumbling a little bit. I've had nothing but good results guys with this nitrate reactor. It definitely keeps my nitrates fully stocked, fed. Um, my, my nitrates are usually around under five. Um, haven't been really good on my water changes, but I do do more frequent water changes now. I'm trying to get that close to zero nitrates as possible. And of course I have, um, I have my uh, pumps, battery backups, doser, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, RO water. Um, but yeah, that is my 90 gallon. I'm trying to get rid of some Aptasia. So if anybody has some good ideas on getting rid of the uh, Aptasia right there, would greatly appreciate to know how you guys did it. Um, I, I know there's peppermints and all kinds of stuff, but Anyways, that's my 90 gallon. Hope you enjoyed it.